introduction to ones and tens. Hello friends, I am the parrot. Welcome to this lesson. Come let's see what you will learn in this lesson. What are ones and tens? And how to write numbers in the form of ones and tens? Chotu and his mother went to the market today to get vegetables. On returning home, Chotu's mother kept all vegetables except onions in the fridge. All onions are kept on the table. Mummy, you asked the vegetable vendor to give one kg onions. How many onions did you get? Can you count and tell me how many onions did we buy? Yes, Mummy, I will tell you now. Wait, count the number of onions by making a bundle of 10 each. For this, first make one bundle of 10 onions. Okay, Mummy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Take this mother. This is a bundle of 10 onions. Very good Chotu. Now how many more onions are there? There is one more onion mummy. So this is one bundle of 10 onions which has 10 onions. And this is one more onion. So in total, how many onions do we have, Chotu? 10 and 1. That means we have 11 onions. Isn't it, Mummy? Yes, Chotu. Do you know that how else can we write 11? No, Mummy. How do we write it? Come on, let me explain it to you. When we make a group of 10 things, then this group is called 10s. And the open things are called ones. So by that, we mean 10 means a group of 10 and ones means one, that is open things. And when there are 10 ones, then they make one tens. Okay, Chotu, tell me something. Can nine onions together make one tens? No, mummy. For this, we will need one more onion. This will be nine ones. Absolutely right, Chotu. This means that ten onions or ten balls, all those things present in a group of ten makes tens because they are in a group of ten. But four, eight and nine things which are less than ten, they are ones and we count them individually. Have you understood? Yes, mummy. So now can you tell me how many tens and ones are there in 11 onions? Mm, there would be one tens and one ones in 11 onions, isn't it mummy? Yes Chotu, you are absolutely right. So children, do you know that when we write numbers in ones and tens, then we call them as place value of the numbers? For example, if I have 15 balls with me, then in this 15, the place value of 5 is 5 ones, which means 5 balls. And the place value of 1 is 10, which means 10 balls. So the total is 15 balls. So children, that's all for today. In this video, we learned what are 10s and 1s and how to write numbers in the form of tens and ones. In the next video, we will look at some more interesting examples of tens and ones. Till then, bye friends! <laughs>